Hello everyone, welcome to Jenkins tutorial. So today we'll uh, see how to create two jobs. Uh, so one of them will be the parent job and the other will be child job. That is upstream and downstream uh, jobs. And we will also pass some values from the upstream uh, to the downstream job. So it will be a kind of variable which will be processing some build job and uh, we'll just get some variable uh, and then we'll pass it to the other downstream job which is dependent on the upstream job it will take the variable value and build on top of that so we'll just see a simple uh, example to execute that and i'll be executing this with a freestyle job so let's get started uh, so for that basically we will need uh, two plugins here uh, so just go to your manage uh, plugin section and look for uh, parameterized so this is the plugin which i have already installed you have to go to the available section and install this plugin and the other one is inject so this environment injector plugin is needed uh, again so what this will uh, injector uh, environment injector plugin will do is like whatever the variables you define uh, key value pairs it will inject as a environment variable with the Jenkins job and the other one for the parameterized part what will help uh, us to do is like uh, in the job configuration it will help us to pass the uh, retain the value from one job and pass it to the next job so let's do that uh, i'll just go ahead and i'll create a new job called uh, upstream job maybe this is a five freestyle job i'll just click on ok and i'll just skip everything because other things are not needed for me and like uh, this can be again uh, complex basically uh, depending basically depending on your need you can make it a parameterized project you may not and need to add some description and choose various options based on your requirement maybe you need to run on, on a specific node uh, or agent so you can do those things uh, so we just we'll just keep it simple in this uh, video so let's get started what i'll do now here is uh, I'll inject uh, the environment variables to the build process. So what I am doing is I am just creating a, a, a key value pair. So here it will be a where type equal to Java. So this is the key and this is the value. And now again, uh, what I'll do is like, I can just simply go ahead and create an as complex build process as it is needed for my case or depending on my application, I can define the build process. But I, here I'll just go ahead and print my uh print my variable value so which is dollar uh where type so this will help us to verify the our uh our variable uh, what is the value of this variable so we are here it is java if you see here okay and, and we'll go into the another step which is the post build step and here we'll search for the parameter part okay this is the one figureized parameter built on other projects what it will do is it will um, uh, take our input and it will uh, take this as a parameter for the uh, for the next downstream job so here we need to mention the next downstream job which we want to trigger so i'll just go with parameterized job manual and here we have a lot of options like uh, when or which, in which case we want to trigger the downstream job. It may be like whenever the uh, your current uh, upstream job is stable, we want to trigger the downstream job with some certain parameters. And similarly, based on your condition, maybe if it fails, you can have some other parameters and you can trigger the job again. Or So these are the various conditions you can go through and it will be based on case to case, uh, uh, it depends. So again, if you want to always trigger, even if your build is unstable, failed or passed, you can go with the complete. So for now, I'll go with the stable part. And uh, we'll add our parameters here. Okay, so I'll go with the pre-defined uh, parameter section. And here I'll give another uh, variable. So uh, we had this variable uh, printed here, which, which was the uh, like evaluate to java because of this uh, we have set here from the environment so i'll just go with the the parameters so here i'll set it to project equal to env underscore type okay. 
so uh, it should be actually where underscore type so this is the variable so i want the variable from the argo upstream job and this is the variable which will be set uh, to our downstream job which will be taken as this parameter uh, in the parameter section so i'll just uh, save it and uh, uh, let me show the downstream job for our case so downstream job is parameterized uh, job manual if you see here and here it is built with parameters and that is the reason i project i pass the project as another uh, variable there and i uh, the value will be evaluated, evaluated from our environment variable which is injected so if i go here again into the configure section and go to the last part you can see like this project and uh, this is the variable in uh, from this job parameter job uh, uh, manual or uh, let me go here and you can see like this is the name of the variable which i have passed earlier uh, in the previous uh, tutorials if you have gone through so this is uh, this should be exactly the same in the upstream job uh, parameter part and also your actual parameter job which is running and then uh, i am passing the wire type so now wire type is being set from the environment variable here uh, yeah so i'll just go ahead and i'll trigger it from here upstream job so you can see now now it already it has started displaying like this is the downstream job for this uh, project so i'll just go with the build now and it has built that if you go here you can see where type is set to java and it has printed the where type value as java now it has uh, taken uh, the input and passed the parameter to the downstream job so the downstream job is has triggered triggered you can see based on success so if we go here and it is triggered head uh, just right now and if i go to the logs uh, we can see uh, like it has taken the value as java and the condition is i mean condition of the job is like java is equal to java then this is a java based project so if you want to see what parameters were passed from the upstream job you can just go to your parameter section and we can see like it has taken the, the java part so that's it from the upstream and downstream integration part uh, or how to configure the upstream job to pass values to downstream using environment injection as well as like configuring uh, one job which is dependent on another job thanks thanks for joining for the tutorial